So Tommy, we've got Wellesdon tomorrow night. Um, obviously it's a Tuesday night game, comes with those kind of problems, doesn't it? Obviously playing so soon after the Scunthorpe game, but I guess you came into that with a bank holiday fixture, so nothing nothing new. Yeah, no, it's a tough it's a tough schedule at this time of the season. A lot of the lads have played a lot of football already. Um, like you said, we've gone from Friday, Monday, Saturday to the Tuesday, but it's, it's part and parcel of the game. You know, the players, I would like to think, you're not going to make them fitter at this stage of the season, that they need to be fitter anyway, but, but they need to be conditioned to be able to come out and train on a Monday, play on a Tuesday, rest, and then turn out a couple of training sessions before the next game. So it is part and parcel of the game. It's the next game, so it's the biggest game as far as I'm concerned. We won't look beyond it. Um, we haven't looked too much at what's gone behind us, but we know we're in a better place today than we were on Friday, and hopefully we'll be better. We'll be in a better place on Wednesday after Tuesday's game. That's, that would be the end. So you spoke after the game um, on Saturday, you know about uh, Ollie Pendlebury and Tyler Frost. Obviously, they've been missing a bit. Mm -hmm. Can you give a bit more of an update on those, and if there's any other worries at all ahead of yeah. tomorrow night? Um, the, the, the pair of them guys have been on the grass this morning, Monday morning, so um, they may well be considered for to be involved in some way, shape or form at Wheelston. If they don't make the Wheelston game, then I would have thought both could probably be on the bus going to York. Um, so that's that's them two. Um, we have we are recalling Tom from Farmer, or we have, and he's trained with the group again this morning. Um, so we have added, added a body just in case we do lose one because we were a little bit threadbare, I felt. Um, and I think with the three games left to play, the more players we have around us, uh, both in training and available for a game on a Saturday, it's really important. We were, we were a little bit on the thin side. Obviously, you came in with Tommy out at Farnborough, so what, what is it? That's, is it just an extra body? Or, we all know he's an exciting player, so is it something you're lo looking to kind of well, unleash I, in the I last mean, few I, games? I found it a little... Listen, I wasn't here when he went out on loan, so I don't know why he went out on loan, but having played 64 times for, for us at this level already, I just felt it was somebody that, you know, can add energy, he can add a, a, a thrust and a forward running, you know, and the guy is going to be here beyond the end of the season. So from that point of view, he's somebody I need to look at as well. Um, obviously, we've spoken to Farm Brown, I know they'd, they'd be sorry to, to lose him, he's done well for them, but ultimately he's our player and I think we need to, all hands at, at the deck, you know, it's, it's, that's how it is. And looking at the performance from Saturday, obviously there was definitely positives you spoke about in the first half and, and, and a bit of fight and desire like we saw at Eastleigh to, to get the job done in the end, despite you know a bit of a poorer performance like you said in the second half. Yeah, I mean, you got again, I thought in the first half we really imposed our game and our physicality, our way of playing on, on the opposition on Saturday. And it, it wasn't that they weren't trying, but they couldn't do a lot to stop us. They got an early goal and it just rocked us a little bit. And I understand that's, you know, there's a motion of the game and the emotion of the, 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 the gravity of the game as well. So for us to be able to get ourselves back up off the canvas on, on Saturday and come back and hit, hit a killer blow is really pleasing because that's two games in a row we've managed to come back, you know, um, when we've had a disappointment. However big that disappointment is, it's got to be brushed aside as quickly as it's come and we've got to get back on thinking about what we do well. If we do that, I don't see any, other re any reason why we can't continue to add points to the tally. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.